chasing a road to glory driven since i was a child if you want to think bad enough to go out and fight for it work day and night for it happy wednesday everybody hope you're doing great um i am just getting um off to work today unfortunately three of the four boys um have the stomach flu so unfortunately the road trip yesterday was bookended by the youngest uh throwing up and then the the next two the nine-year-old and the 12 year old end up getting the stomach flu um luckily the they both were able to throw up in plastic bags um the youngest we had to stop at a laundromat because it kind of gotten all over he's only a year and a half two years and so um needed to get that taken care of first before we ended up uh continuing on the road trip it was pretty pretty stinky and um and obviously very um not very sanitary um and then so on the last leg of the trip we got um an hour and a half to go and the youngest uh or not the youngest the next one the nine-year-old had to throw up and then the uh 12 year old um same time in the bathroom and then when we came home in the middle of the night last night around three in the morning or so had to um had to go throw up so uh, i mentioned that just as everything's not not glamorous right but i'm not going to show that in video um that's the uh tired bags here getting a little sleepy here that's the diet coke at the top of the morning so hope you're all doing well Trims out okay got in um to the office just uh, getting dressed up here let's see uh wells uh was able to have uh we had a conference call 8 30 we get the other as a team uh it's called the two minute drill we go around just talk about what we've done from a prospecting and marketing perspective and then um, after that I was able to make a couple phone calls out to people that are looking at joining the organization so a really um, productive drive time now let's start uh, working with our uh, new hire Peter excited let's go clean that clean that screen must have been greasy for my face All right, everybody, great day today, lots to do, especially when you go on vacation. There's always lots to get done uh, when you get back uh, um, for a lot of people, <laughs> tons of emails to get to. Now, it wasn't one of those vacations that I jumped back into the email, so I had an automatic response that said I was going to be gone from this date, return to that date, and I stayed true to it, didn't check the emails, and in there I said if you need an immediate response, contact the customer service phone number, contact the, um, the, the administrative assistant here, and so that, that was good, um, but then it means a lot to do when you get back to the office. And so I was able to connect in with Peter. Things are going well. Um, he's finishing off uh, uh, a portion of long-term care, so it's great to see the dedication. Um, always exciting to see someone when they, when they treat their career like it's theirs. They own it. Um, and then was able to um, shoot out a bunch of emails that needed to get out, inviting people, right? So a lot of, a lot of invitations are happening um, on email, there's uh, s s several phone calls that had to get made today um, and, ch and following up with people and making sure that we're um, staying, keeping people moving along. So in the recruiting process, it's um, identifying the right individuals that might, might find a home here at our organization and then making sure that as they're doing some testing before they come on board that they're ready to go and not f falling through the craps, uh, cracks, trying to find other, other areas of employment that might fit their fancy. Um, so we want to make sure that we're seen as the number one place for them to be. And then after that, um, I was called in Jimmy John's. I didn't want to leave the office just to, be able to still continue to stay focused. So must have shot out, I don't know, somewhere close to um, 50 emails inviting people to be able to sit back down again and following up with them. Um, also sent out an um, invitation for the Lunch and Learns on Friday for April and also in May. Uh, so May got it stacked out um, every single Friday doing a Lunch and Learn on how to... So April, it'll be April 12th is our book club um, working on vision boards. The 19th is how to leverage LinkedIn. Uh, May 3rd is uh, session number four. Um, it's taking action um, and sustaining action in regards to what you want in life. Uh, so again, from Success Principles of Jack Canfield. And then on uh, the 10th, um, leverage, or, um, podcasting why you should be listening, which I thought was a nice uh, pun on things. And then on the 17th, talking about how um, sales and marketing tip, um, Facebook and various ads. And then on the 24th, um, what was that one? Oh, the power of video. 
And then finally, on the, uh, May 31st, having a look at inviting a bunch of business owners into our office to talk about the value that we have to business owners. So hope you're all doing well. How to help somebody into the office there. Um, sorry, uh, so I got cut off there. Um, so after sending out that blind carbon copy to about 300, oh no, about 400 different contacts, I have to go through, um, you know, delete some different emails and things like that from, from the list. And um, so got that one out, invitations. And then um, the next one tomorrow, we'll be looking at the calendar for the next 30 days or next 90 days, getting out the marketing, putting in the different pieces into place, uh, talking with Trey, making sure that we get her on par for um, to really get her business off the ground and make sure that she's doing whatever she can that's humanly possible to get that calendar full and to keep it full and to make sure that when she is running appointments that I'm a part of those discussions just because I can help her get the job done. So let's uh, drive home now. It's about 55 minute drive, less traffic. So looking all green. Let's go, Sherm's out. Motivation everybody, hope you're doing well. Sometimes we're motivated by people that are in our lives. I find that a lot of times when people are single, they find the right person, the muse, the individual that they're romantically involved with, um, whether it's a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a significant other becomes a spouse, um, even children, right? That, that responsibility can be overwhelmingly motivational in a very, very positive way. And so I know in the, the book, Think and Grow Rich, it's talk about taking that energy uh, and putting all that focus into your career and into growing what you think is important. And, and obviously the book, Think and Grow Rich, about accumulating wealth. And so what I'd find for anybody that has like a passion project or something they wanna accomplish, have a look at who is your muse, who's really helping support you get to where you wanna go, and who are you trying to really impress? I know for me, mine is my wife. Love her and love my sons. Sherms out.